Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and today we're answering your questions all about open chest and robotic mitral valve repair surgery. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Arner Gerson, who is the Chief of Cardiac Surgery at Yale New Haven Health in New Haven, Connecticut. The Heart and Vascular Center at Yale New Haven Hospital has received the Mitral Valve Repair Reference Center Award for the past three years. During his extraordinary career, Dr. Gerson has performed thousands of cardiac procedures with many, including mitral valve repairs. Dr. Gerson, it is great to see you again, and thanks for being with us today. Well, thanks, Adam. It's really appreciative uh, to invite me here, and uh, it's a real pleasure to be part of the uh, heart valve surgery community. Yeah, we're going to get all to the patient's question quickly here, Dr. Gerson, but first, I'm curious to know, there are so many unique specialties in cardiac surgery. Why did you choose to focus on mitral valve repair? It's a great question. I mean, early on in my kind of career and training, I, I had a lot of interest in actually why people develop mitral valve prolapse and mitral regurgitation. So I spent a fair time with that. And, you know, early during my training and during my career, when you start to doing these operations to repair the mitral valve, I first of all I found it challenging, actually. It was also very gratifying when you can actually repair the valve and get good results. And, and that's really, you know, when you're able to help patients to get good results, you know, you prolong their life and, and improve them with the symptoms. I think that's a really gratifying part of being a cardiac surgeon. Dr. Gear said, I love how you have taken the research, taken the challenge of mitral valve repair to help patients over their lifetime. And now we got a really great question for, from Jane. And she asks, is open chest surgery or robotic surgery better for mitral valve repair? Well, that's, yeah, that's another great question. So I, you know, I think first of all, I mean, it's really difficult to prove which one is better than the other. You know, I think you have to look at two different things. First of all, the invasiveness of the procedure, how stressful is it on the patient and the body? And I think there's, most people do argue if you do a robotic repair, or a robotic approach that is less invasive, less trauma to the patient, smaller incision stuff. The second part to really think about is, can you get the same results how you repair the valve, durability of the repair, if you do robotically or open? And I think if you go to a specialist who does a lot of either one, whether that's open or robotic, you're going to get good results. You're going to get good repair. And that's really what's most important. I think once you master either techniques, there's really no difference or it's really difficult to prove that is one approach better than the other. Uh, but the most important is to find the right surgeon, the right person who knows how to actually repair the right trial. Dr. Garrison, fantastic points. I hope the patients really listen to everything you just said. And I've, I've got to ask, you've been doing this now for how long have you been repairing mitral valves for? Well, I've been doing this for about 15 years at least. I, I would say as a busy mitral valve surgeon doing now close to over 100 repairs a year. Yeah, for patients who may not know this, the average number, and check me if I'm wrong about this, Dr. Gearson, of mitral valve surgeries done by a physician on any given year, according to the STS, is only about five. So Dr. Gearson, I can't thank you enough for helping so many patients there at Yale New Haven Health. And I've got to ask you, you've been doing this for so long. How has your approach to repairing the mitral valve evolved or changed over time? And over the last few years, I, I've certainly evolved into to doing less invasive approaches to the mitral valve, doing the robotic mitral valve repair. I mean, I think that's one way that my practice has evolved. The other thing that has changed, I think, and this happens when you become a busy mitral valve surgeon, you, you start to repair the valve a little bit differently. Uh, there are certain techniques that they're a little bit more advanced than others. Uh, and, and you certainly become more successful repairing the valve. And there's no doubt once you reach that level of becoming a high volume surgeon, I think and I noticed that in myself, in my career, when you really start to do these 40, 50 repairs a year, that's when you really be start to become good at it. And you can see that. And I know that's the way with most busy mitral valve surgeons that, you know, they're able to repair almost all the mitral valves that have mitral valve prolapse. Uh, that are considered to be repairable. Dr. Gerson, given all of your incredible experience repairing mitral valves, I'm sure patients are wondering, what is your number one piece of advice 
for someone who is considering a mitral valve repair? Well, I think the most important thing to do is when you're selecting a site or a surgeon uh, uh, to repair your mitral valve is really to ensure that you have a good durable repair and, and good results, but essentially having you know, really minimal residual mitral regurgitation at the end of the operation. There's certainly plenty of surgeons and plenty of hospitals throughout the U.S. to do a lot of mitral valve surgery. So select a place that does a, a, a fair amount of it, uh, has proven track record of providing good care and good outcomes doing mitral valve repairs. And obviously you, you want to select a surgeon or a hospital which you're comfortable with. Somebody you feel that, you know, feel like you connect with uh, that person and you think you, you're going to trust him to repair your valve. Dr. Garrison, that is fantastic advice. And on behalf of all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com and all the patients who are watching this video all over the world, I want to thank you for taking time away from your very busy practice there at Yale New Haven Health in New Haven, Connecticut, and sharing all these great insights with our community. Thanks for being with us. Well, thanks, Adam. I really appreciate being invited here and I'm really happy I can contribute uh, to all the patients with uh, valve disease. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.